Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer, and welcome to Space Crew. Uh, this is going to be episode one of a new Let's Play. It's Earth, it's 2160. The United Defense Force was defeated. It's aliens, it's space. There's some excitement to be had in this game. This is from Runner Duck, and this is a sequel to a couple of years back, maybe two or three years ago now. Uh, their release was Bomber Crew. That was a fun little management game, World War II, of the actual crew on board a bomber. Uh, now, this takes that same concept, uh, adds a little more to it, obviously puts it out into space, uh, but, it, but it has added some new features, so it's not just a reskin of the same game. But let's go ahead and jump in. Uh, with an empty slot i only just got in to change the settings i have not played this yet that there isn't a sandbox mode uh, at this point it is straight campaign and the campaign opens with its own tutorial we're at athena station there's a module in a comms array by the moon is malfunctioning not expecting any complications this will serve as the perfect opportunity to go over some basic training need you to go and retrieve the module, repair it on your ship, and deposit it back into the comms array. Alright, so this is our ship. It's the Cosmic Javelin. Alright, so we're going to select our captain and tell them to launch the ship. So greens, purples, dark grays, or is that blues? Might have just been the lighting. Nice looking ship. Okay, T select the captain. There you go. Okay, zoom. Ooh, that's a quick zoom. Zoom out. Rotate camera. that select the captain we're going to charge up our hyper jump and engage we're at the moon earth's moon that is looks like we've got some uninvited guests our scanners are picking up incoming phasmid activity to your location we're uncertain how many are on their way, so make sure all your weapon stations are manned. Okay, they are not currently. Select your engineer. Targeting mode. What are we targeting? Ah! Bad guys. There's more of them. Okay. That's everybody. So everybody's targeted. Looks like we're gonna have to destroy some fighters, repair some communications. This one's down, we're taking some fire. Looks like our shields are taking a little bit of damage, but they're holding up just fine right now. A six man crew right now. We have four stations, one on each sector. It looks like the shields are also set up in the same way. Good work. Looks like the last of them repair the probe and return to base. Communications array to align with it. Yeah, where's that going to be? Training. Oh, tag. I got you. I got you. Nope, not tab. Uh, we want to. There we go. Space power. There's the communications array. Okay, 
Engineer. Get to work here. Tractor beam. It can be used to retrieve and deposit objects as well as retrieving crew that have exited the ship. Yikes. Sounds scary. Okay, we're going to retrieve the broken item. So we're going to send Barrios over there. Uh, looks like he's going to handle the repair job automatically. Okay, task complete. And we're going to deposit that back in its place. just need to return to base. So we want the jump gate. Not oh, that's communications array. Yes, Athena station to base. Uh, go ahead and tab accelerate charge. Engage. I still need to find the base. Is that what we're going for? Assume it probably is. Yes, appears so. Alright, so our first tutorial mission is a success. It's easy enough. The controls are relatively easy. There was a couple things that took me a moment to find, but otherwise, uh, that's all fine. Alright, everybody's level 1. They only got a small amount of XP for that, but that was a very quick mission, so no qualms with that. Like our little stat section there at the bottom. We have mess hall, we have missions. Mission briefing room. Select a mission for your crew. Enemy forces at Phobos. Low risk. Okay, so enemy forces are massing at Phobos. Must be taken care of. Wipe them all out. Into our second mission. It is a real combat mission. There are still a few features of your ship that we need to try out. At some points during this mission, some control of your ship and crew will be locked for training purposes. Crew on board, we're gonna head out. to Mars. Ooh. Okay, so it looks like we have patrol, there's evasiveness, we have the ability to abort. Ship's in good shape, all the crew's in good shape. Okay, before you hyper jump, let's run through how your ship's reactor works. Select your engineer. This is the engineer station panel from here. You can modify reactor output to the ship's different systems, shields, weapons, engines, and gravity generator. While charging for hyperjump, four units of power will be diverted and locked to the engines. 
until it is upgraded, the reactor has only four units of power. So currently, all your reactor power is being used to charge for hyper jump. Notice your energy weapons are showing that they do not have any power to operate. Okay. Gravity generator and shield recharger are also without power. After you complete your hyper jump, reactor output will be returned to the previously set balance and everything will be operational again. So, you don't want to hyper jump in the middle of combat until we have some more power. Okay, select the engineer. Try removing unit you know, power from the gravity generator. Notice that your gravity generator is indicating that it is not enough power to operate. Okay. Try adding a unit of power to your weapons. Energy weapons require power in order to operate. They are more effective with more power. Non energy weapons, auto cannon, do not require any power. Select your security officer. Move your security officer here. Notice how your security officer has difficulty moving around the ship with the gravity generator unpowered. So floating around. Makes sense. Or in space. Enemies incoming full ship and crew control has returned to me. Set your reactor power to your preference and move your crew to weapon stations as required. Well, I don't need engines right now. What I need is shields and weapons, right? And let's go ahead and get uh, Barrios. Click the mouse. Oh, oh, right, right, right. Gotta, I gotta find the enemies. Looks like we have everybody targeted. Alright, so far shields are holding up well. Just about the couple of the shields are definitely down a bit. Shields restored. Restored just the one. Looks like a 2 2 is holding up well for us here. He's targeted. Looks like that might be the last one out there. Yeah, we're not firing at anybody else but this one. Bring him down. Bring him down. There we go. Okay, all clear. Get back. I'm gonna keep you there for now. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna move you to the front. Gun. What is that? Four aft. Alright, we need to come down off of here. Turn systems back on. Probably want to head towards our objective, right? Might be helpful. So that means captain. When we get close, we want to charge. Sorry, time a little bit. Charge and engage. On our way. So far, so good. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and slow. Actually, we don't need to do that, do we? Okay, that's a temporary thing. You can slow time in the middle of combat. Oh, 
Oh, incoming, incoming. Uh, you. We're gonna go. Gravity engines off, and we're gonna go. Weapons and shields up, and we're gonna jump over here. And we're gonna go start tagging these guys. Come on. Those guys are all targeted. Got everybody. Appears to be so. I don't see any other markers around. Oh, yes, there are more incoming. There we go. I'm starting to bring one down. And another. Check on the ship, how we doing? Uh, we've taken a little bit of damage here. You can see Kara slightly hurt. Uh, don't know if I want to get maybe the captain out on one of the guns. And keep our engineer handy. Might need some repairs soon. There we go, shield's starting to come back up. Shields down again on the front. Definitely taking a lot of damage here. Let's check that again. Situation we have two guys out here left. At all. Okay, doing alright. Got nope, four left. That one's down. Get him. Let's get him. There's another down. Okay. Maybe just the one left. That front shield still not well recovered. It's certainly taken some damage, but we're okay. It looks like we have some damage to repair it as well. Okay, sounds like we're all clear. Let's go ahead and restore. restore power and then we'll get the repairs done. Okay, gravity back on. Uh, looks like that's our healing station as well. Why don't we get uh, Coppola in on that? These, by, get these guys back in health. Okay, healing taken care of. Ship looks like it's okay. Mission appears to be done, so the place is cleared out. Might as well head on back here momentarily. Go ahead and have a seat, Kara. Back to your station. And we'll head back to base. Before you return to Athena, we'll explain a little about your captain's piloting modes. Captain station panel, select the current piloting mode. Currently, as the jump gate waypoint has been tagged, you can see that the waypoint locked is highlighted. Uh, let's try challenge, 
canceling this waypoint. Press patrol to cancel this waypoint and patrol the sector. More piloting modes will be unlocked. Notice how the jump gate was untagged. Tag it again to switch back to follow waypoint. Continue the return journey. Alright. Tag it again. You're it. You know, tag. You're it. Gotta charge that up again. Okay, return to base. And the base is tagged. And we head back. We'll see what coming back with a little bit of damage does. The ship's fine. A couple crew members are a little bit hurt. Real mission that time, we get a lot more action. Everybody levels up to two. And it looks like we get some minor upgrades. See, all but one of our characters anyway. Oh, those are, okay. Those are new uh, task options for their jobs. And we also bring back some light armored suit in MK1, battle helmets, uh, armored boots, and light gloves to equip with our crew members. All right, that takes us into the crew gear. We'll take a quick look at this before we wrap up this first episode of this new Let's Play. And this is the crew gear room. Here, you customize your crew's gear. Different crew gear will have different properties, such as resistance to damage, resistance to radiation, or improved mobility. Alright, Captain. Okay, uh, equip. It's gonna slow you down, but armor's good. That's to those presets, okay. Wanna do that to everyone? Equip to all? All we're getting out of this is a little more armor, but they're all gonna be slower. It's not necessarily a good thing, is it? Uh, well, this is one who does not move from their position, so we'll do that. I want Barrios to be able to move around, and Kara to move around. These two, we'll go ahead and equip them as well with the extra armor. Hello, recruitment. Nice. They'll give me more than six crew, or if that's kind of what we're locked in on. All right, well, next up would obviously be heading into the next mission, and we will certainly do that soon enough. Uh, that is going to do it for this first episode. It's just a brief look, intro into the game. Looks like we are just about out of the tutorial phase and into just full blown uh, running missions from there. Should be at least pretty close to that point anyway. Uh, we've already destroyed 23 enemy ships, that's that's a good start. 
I'm Decathlon Gamer. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to hit that like button, especially in a new series. First three episodes, really, really important to click that like button. Uh, if you want to see more, hit subscribe. Also, comment below. That really helps with that algorithm as well. I, I do have a smaller channel here on YouTube, and it requires a little bit of help for this series to have a real shot, especially against uh, some of those bigger channels that are out there. So. Thanks for tuning in. Really, really do appreciate it. And again, that like button would help massively. I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there. And bye for now.